Well, 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 welcome to Love Them Knives channel, uh, LTK here. We've got a knife. We've got a, a knife, uh, the Kershaw <laughs> Natrix Upside Down 7007. No, it's not a, a, a ZT0777. It's not a ZT0770. But it kind of got all that kind of look, didn't it? The subframe thing, a lot. This lock bar reminds me a lot of the ZT777, which was a limited edition. And, of course, normal people can't buy it. We're not allowed to. Just like a lot of their other limited edition knives, it really... It drives me crazy because those are the most beautiful knives that ZT makes. And, of course, they're unavailable for normal people. Uh, if you can hit the button within three seconds, you know, and you're lucky you get the knife. Uh, otherwise the secondary market is three times the price. So, you know, it puts it out of reach for everybody. Uh, but here it comes for the common man. Yes, it is. The 7007 with, oh, the high end steel. I forgot about that. 8CR13 MOV. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's not the high-end steel. Now, this knife cost me $38 and about 40 bucks. Let's just say 40 bucks. Especially with shipping. Over 40. Pocket clip. It's tip up. Okay, this is three and a quarter inch blade. It's tip up carry. You can go right or left hand on the pocket clip. Thank God they put a little reinforcement in there for the pocket clip. That's nice. Wish they'd have put a little reinforcement in for the rest of the knife. Wow. Um, you've got a lock bar here that's steel, supposedly. And uh, lockup's really heavy on this knife. Uh, there's very few reviews out on this knife right now. This is... Uh, 26th of July 2017 so yeah they're kind of just getting out and I look back at Blade HQ let's I'll throw the paperwork up real quick on the Natrix it's an assisted opening as you probably saw when I opened it up it's now out of stock again it's 38 bucks and I think it was four bucks shipping so I paid like 42 bucks to get it in hand if it looks familiar it looks like the 770 well, it kind of looks like the 777 a little bit, too, with the subframe lock. The 770, of course, um, is an assisted opening as well, which I could never figure out why ZT made that knife assisted opening. Oh, my God. What were you thinking? Whew. I mean, you're not talking about a $40 knife with that. And, and like this is. Okay, so this is a $40 knife, and I watched one guy review it, who was trying to give it a glowing review and saying, you got to remember, this is just a $40 knife. Um, I expect a lot more of a $40 knife than this. I was so pumped to get this knife. It's like, oh, I want that Natrix. I want it. I want to get it in my hands. I love that design. That's so cool. This thing's got to be so awesome. And then I got it. And I got it all right. Stonewash blade of, like we said, 8CR13 MOV. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I'll throw you the specs, huh? Seven and a half overall, three and a quarter inch blade. 8CR13 MOV drop point. Stonewash. You know, four and a quarter uh, handle length. I, I, I think that's what they're saying. G10. That's G10, and it's under three ounces, okay? Spring assist, God bless America and all the ships at sea. I swear to God, if I get one more <sighs> assisted opening, um, please, God, save us from that. I, I'm just not that big into it. But I guess if you're just Joe Blow, and here's the rest of it. If you're just Joe Blow, and you go to Walmart, and you just want a grab a knife. I mean, you know, you're not a knife collector. You're not a knife aficionado. You just like, hey, I, I remember Kershaw. You know, they've been around for a long time. They're an American company. 
I'm going to buy me a Kershaw knife. Hey, this one looks awful pretty. Eh, pretty handsome little knife. I think it'd be great. Throw in my pocket. And look at that. Fires right out. Yes, it does. Almost like an automatic. Who is that trick or what? Unfortunately, I'm not that guy. Okay, I actually am a little bit more sophisticated in my knife uh, evaluation habits and uh, interests. And yes, I'm kind of a knife uh, freak, obviously. Love them knives channel and all that. And so, no. No, the assisted opening is not trick. It is not a thing I like. Uh, I mean, the problem is, this is so hysterical, but let me, let me... Let me show you something. So one knife reviewer was saying, man, if this knife was made in the USA and had Sandvik steel, I'd pay 80 bucks for it. I mean, I'd pay 80 bucks for it if it was made in the USA and had Sandvik steel instead of the MOV. Dun, 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 dun. Here's what you can do. Go to House of Blades. <laughs> Hold on. One more. Okay, so this is the length that you, the normal standard length, $41.95, okay? Here's the link from House of Blades. And why, damn, it's almost 80 bucks. It's $89.95. There you go. Made in America. Assisted opening like you love. <laughs> but. You're right, it's not Sandvik Steel. You know what it is? It's S35VN. This knife is a good knife. Feels good in the hand. Great steel. Made in America by Kershaw. Okay, an exclusive. You can get it in black wash. You can get it in all this. So I'm sorry. I'm, you know, I know I'm blowing this by you. But it's like 40 bucks. Made in China, very, very light. Now, if you want a light carry knife that's super, super light in your pocket uh, and feels like nothing almost, there you go. You got it right here. See this uh, kind of floating backspacer here? I heard a guy say, yeah, I was, I was going to take this apart and look and see if I could de-assist it. And then the screws just spun on me. Uh, and then another screw or something was locked tight. It's so hard down that he decided, forget it. Another guy looked at de-assisting it and says there's no detent ball. So if you de-assist it, it's screwed. I mean, you can't de-assist it. So you're going to have to keep it with the assisted. And I wouldn't recommend trying to take this apart. I don't think this would be a good idea at all. So it's got a flipper tab. It's got jimping on the flipper tab. Like I said, stonewash blade. You got a, a steel lock bar. Pocket clip you can move from side to side. Very light. 2.8 ounces. Not a very big knife. So it's it's real easy, pocketable in that in that regard. So let's see. Yeah, about three and a quarter if you measure it down here at the bottom. Three and five eighths. I mean, three and three eighths, three and a quarter. I mean, to me, that's three and a quarter, but seven and a half overall, which is 19 centimeters. And a little over, well, about 80 uh, millimeter blade length. Okay. Let's take a look at the thickness of the blade steel here. So 0.115 of an inch, which is way under a, an eighth. So it's not even as thick as an eighth. It's 2.91. A lot of the stuff we do here is like three and a half to four and a half millimeters. This is a lot thinner than that. So it's a lot thinner. Um, probably make a good slicer. This blade grind a lot. Now this is sharp. And uh, let, me, let me roll a piece over here. It, it, it is a sharp blade. I mean, uh, pull it back this way. Got to follow through, right? Got to follow through. In any case, so yeah, I mean, uh, it comes sharp. Uh, 
Cutting some paper, does that mean a lot? No, but I can feel that the blade's sharp. So it comes pretty sharp, okay? So that's not a problem. Look at the grind on this. Does this look like it bellies out, then it comes up and almost like flattens or almost slight recurve and then comes out to almost a hawk bill? Oh, it's sharp, by the way. Oh, this was, I'm sorry, this was a Gerber index that got me with 5CR15 MOV steel. Damn. Yeah, I was trying to loosen the blade up a little bit and it bit. Okay, in any case, so, yes, that's a little kind of, I don't know, I guess that, that's supposed to be like that. It didn't look right to me. It looked like that belly should have continued up here and not kind of gone this route. But, oh well, in any case, I didn't know if that was an issue with the grind or if that's the way it's supposed to be. Because you never know. At least this thing is centered. It is centered. It opens and closes. It's sharp. It's light. It's portable. It's not a real big knife. You can go right or left hand. Carry. How's it feel in the hand? Feels pretty good in the hand. I mean, you got this jimping on top of the blade, so you got the ability to get some control here, okay? You've got this pass-through that's cut through here. So you can get that lock bar disengaged. That's not a problem. That's very easy to do. So that's good too. All right. I don't know if you can hear that. It just feels hollow and cheap. Um, this 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 G10. It's not like like most G10 which that is different. That's, that's got a thicker, heavier feel to it. Um, it. It just doesn't feel like that. This feels like some kind of a, a thin nylon plasticky thing. It just doesn't feel substantial to me. Uh, it's really, I mean, I was so angry and I was saying things that I probably shouldn't say on camera, but I was like, you took this beautiful design with this subframe lock and you decided I'm going to make it as cheap and nasty as a gas station knife and then charge 40 bucks for it. I just, I, what the, hold on. I got to go back to this. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, <sighs> come here. Okay. <clears throat> So the SRP is 60 bucks, 59.99. Really? Okay. Um, you know, I, I got this out and I just thought this is gonna be so cool. Maybe it'd feel more substantial in the hand. Maybe it would be on KVT bearings. Oh, like what? Hold on, hold on. I mean, you want me to give you some, for instance, because I'm going to have some people, you know, coming back at me that are Kershaw lovers and they'll buy everything that Kershaw makes. That's not me. But I'd buy this knife. Matt Diskin designed strobe. I did a review on this. And guess what? It's the same size knife, basically. Three and a half is, is, is this one here. This is 3.55. Ooh, sorry. Same steel. Drop point, stone wash, right? And guess what? KVT bearings, non-assisted. Beautiful, kind of a uh, bolster lock, liner lock type knife. I mean, just a great freaking knife. And guess what? It's $19.99. It's twenty dollars cheap. You can buy two of those for one of these. I'd have rather one to one. I'd take the strobe. Okay, one to one. I'd take the strobe. Feels more substantial in the hand. Not assisted opening. Got KVT bearings. More, just a better lockup. Better feel in the hand. Just everything. Now this knife, I mean, it feels good in the hand. It's okay. I mean, for what it is, if this was a 
$16 to maybe $19 knife, then okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. And you know, there was another one, another guy says, I got a warp blade. So you look down from behind and you could tell uh, that the blade was, you know, it's, so I don't know where the quality control is coming from. Um, this one is good. I got a good one. Um, and this will be going up on my next giveaway because no, I, I, I no, I don't want it. I'll tell you what, let me give you some options. Let me give you some options. If you go, wow, that's too bad. Cause you, if you love the design and you buy what you love, go ahead and buy it. Maybe you need the experience of owning this knife and holding it in your hand to decide, you know, about it yourself. And you do. I mean, you do. I mean, I've never listened to anybody. I just go off and buy crap. And then I finally decide I should have listened. But, you know, that's okay. Catch a release and it's only 38 bucks. So, peace be with you, my brother. Let me give you some other ideas. Like the strobe. And I just happen to not have many Kershaws available in for you to look at. But, Leon Ma, The Remedy. Right? What's this? 30 something dollars KVT. Right? <laughs> I mean, oh, IKBS. I'm sorry. IKBS bearing system. Frame lock. Great knife. Th they screwed up the GSD, but the remedy uh, is not my. I, I don't feel it was a full redemption to Leon Ma, but it, it was helpful. This is a good carry knife. Okay, this is a good one. Okay, let's go down the Ken Onion Trail. Now this is probably cheaper. I think this is like $32 to $35. This is more expensive. This one is more expensive than the Natrix. Ken Onion. High jinks. Okay, liner lock. Nice substantial liner. Easy to disengage, IKBS bearings, beautiful knife. And it it also has that kind of reinforced nylon kind of handle feel, but it feels more substantial. Feels better in the hand too, but it, it really feels more substantial. Not an assisted opening, so it's kind of more of a real knife guy's knife because you can just, you know, not a problem. Flips great, IKBS, just, just beautiful, right? You can go right and left hand with the clip. Okay, next. Okay, I mean, are we getting the point here? Go away from CRKT. Yeah, from China. Of course, all these are made in China, right? So from China, this one. Beautiful bearings, flips beautifully, liner lock knife, heavy G10 scales, really nice heavy stainless liners, no cheap little plasticky suspended backspacer here. These are big, nice steel standoffs, right? Look at that stainless stop pin that's that blades up that's put into the stainless liners. $34, $35 on Blade HQ. Sandvik steel, right? Look at the seal right there, okay? Ah, crap. There you go. Yeah. Beautiful knife. It's a bigger knife, though. It's a bigger knife. So the Natrix, you know, I mean, yes, then we are kind of comparing a little bit apples and oranges because you wanted something super light, maybe. So, can onion. Yeah, that's a bigger knife, too. I get you. How about... Icoma Design. Flavio Icoma. The, 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 the fossil. Now, this is the full-size fossil. This is like 45 bucks. So, a few bucks more. Compact fossil. So, you want something compact? There you go. Same size. Same price. IKBS, not assisted, flips great, hammered metal, uh, 
got the, the stop pin that goes into a metal line. Look at the stop pin here. It goes into these, into the very, very thin plastic. Okay, that's it. That thing is put into plastic. Okay. Not like it's run into full metal liners for support here. <sighs> or here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I mean, you want a knife that'll work for you? I mean, if this is supposed to be working, Joe Knife, I, I might be a little afraid about failure on this. I mean, it's just a pin that I don't know the strength of whatever this steel is. And it's shoved through plastic, which maybe you could actually, you know, if you had a screwdriver jammed in there, it would bend these scales and the thing would just fall right out. I mean, I don't know, but I mean, maybe you, should, you shouldn't do things like that with a knife, but I'm just saying, wow, another, I bought this for $42.50 off of, either Knife Center or GP or something, right? The Carnifex. Another Icoma design. IKBS. I mean, steel, frame lock, sturdy, beautiful, fit and finish, great, fun design. I mean, you know, dinosaur backspacer type thing, you know, big alligator type look thing. But I mean, feels great in the hand. It's a big knife though. So it's a bigger knife and it's a heavier knife. Lanyard hole, you know? But I mean, same basic price range, all these knives. I'm just, I was just so... I'm just so sad. I really am. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but... And, and, you know, it's okay to have a light knife. Okay, it's okay to have a knife that's light. This is a light knife. I'm going to carry this knife, not this knife. But it's okay to have a knife that's light. Got no problem with that. It's, there are those times... When it's nice to have a light carry knife. Let me show you another light carry knife. That's half the price. Again. Cold Steel Holdout 3, right? This is extremely sharp. Triad lock. Will not fail. Don't have to worry about a stop pin right here, right? Sharp as a <laughs> anything. Incredible. No 8CR13 on here. This is OS8. Okay, that's at least better than that. And pretty much the same as, as light and about the same size. A little bit smaller, actually. So you want something small, light carry? I don't know. I, don't know. Just, I was just really disappointed. I really was. I, I, this feels like, um, I, I hate the assisted opening. Put KVT on here. Put some steel liners in here uh, and put that pin through the steel liners um, and make it available in different colors and uh, make it for $28. I think you'd have a winner then. Wow. Because I'm sorry, guys. Uh, huge disappointment. I'm, I'm sorry. Um... You want another knife? Half the price. Twice the knife. Firebird. Ganzo. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. This is carbon fiber G10 laminate. But look at Steel liners. Nice thick G10 backspacer. Look at that. Metal for the stop pin. The G-lock. Oh, my God. I mean, this thing will open and shut almost too well, right? It's just incredible. Blue hardware, what, 25 bucks? 440C steel. Okay, can we go again? You wanna go again? How about HX Outdoors? The ZD010, okay? 
8CR14 MOV steel, super sharp, heavy, big, nice, thick steel liners, right? Black G10 backspacer. Green G, I'm, 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 I know I'm, I'm not focusing 100% on the Natrix. I don't know that there's a lot to focus on. I mean, we got the length, we got the weight, we, we, you know, we understand the materials. Uh, it feels cheap. It feels light, but it just feels cheap. Chintzy. It's kind of like somebody painted this, and it's not a real thing. It's like. I don't know. I mean, it's just, it just, I don't know. <sighs> now, I guess, you know, if you, if you want a really, really light carry knife and you just love the design, then get it. I mean, I'm not telling you not to buy it. I'm just saying I'm not going to own it. It's not going to stay in my collection. I mean, if I want it, uh, this is $22. Okay. <laughs> This is incredible. It's super, super sharp. The bearings are incredible. The action on this thing is, is unbelievable. As are these other knives. You know? Um, as are this knife. As is. I'm sorry. You know? I mean, at least... Uh, whatever. Ken Onion Design, that, this and that. So, I mean, get the strobe. Matt Diskin Design, 1999. I, I just, you know, if you if you want the best knife for the money, that's one thing. If you just love this design and you want to kind of fantasize about having the Triple Seven Limited Edition or the 770 ZT, then you know, get it, and you may like it. I mean, it, it cuts. It's got steel that sharpens. It'll be totally functional. Um, it just seems iffy to me i i just i'm i'm don't know about hard use holding up to that but it'd definitely be a light carry and um it's not that inexpensive either it's not that inexpensive so that kind of kind of creeps me out a little bit just saying sorry it's just not a winner in my book this is a winner this is a good knife for 40 bucks this one, no. This one, yeah, that's 48. 32, you know. <laughs> I'm not giving you the measurements of some woman's bust. 32, 38, 40. But, you know, 34. I mean, Sandvik, I don't know. I just, bearings, not assist. <sighs> Peace be with you, my brothers. What can I say? I'll tell you what. I'll throw this in my pocket any day any day before that this doesn't even have a lanyard hole i mean <laughs> at least you know some of these do whatever just saying in case you wanted a lanyard hole as well take care my friends we love them knives some knives we don't love as much as others, but I'm just here to give my opinion and I know that I'm going to catch grief on this maybe, but I'm just, I'm just sad because I'm disappointed because I really wanted so much more for this knife. I really did. I, I was really so pumped, but this is going to be, no, nope, not staying in my collection. So, you know, Subscribe to my channel because when I get to 4,500 subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway and this will be on it. There you go. Take care. Yes, we do. We love them knives. Stay sharp.